Skate Program. And there's the order that these men will skate in. The young Faye will kick things off. Evgeny Plucha. And Evgeny Plushenko will skate fifth. Takeshi Honda really lit the place on fire with the short program. Let's see if he can carry that through to the men's free program. And Alexei Armanov will close the competition. Timothy Gable, we know he can do the quad. The question is, Roz, will he do two? <laughs> I would just take one. I mean, it's amazing the jumps they're out there doing at such a young age, but it's his inexperience that's going to hurt him. And he's just looking for a good finish here. There it was. That was the quad yeah. sow cow. <laughs> yes, well, Timothy like Gable. A double. Yeah. <laughs> Timothy Gable does hold two quads, but just a little update on what has happened to the men from Nagano, the medalist that won gold, silver, and bronze. Ilya Kulik, well, he's kind of gone Hollywood. He's trying to actually pursue a film career. That's what we understand, but he's still skating a lot. Actually, that yellow costume, he's gonna donate that to a, a famous sports bar in Las Vegas. And then Elvis Stoiko is still healing from his injury that he had at the Olympics in Nagano, but he did do a little bit of touring, but that's a long road back with a hip injury like that. And then Philippe Condoloro, well, I just saw him two weeks ago in Los Angeles, and he was just out there lighting up the audiences on the international skating tour that really travels over 80 cities in the United States. And Timothy Gable has really sent notice that he is gonna definitely try the quad. There's no question, Roz, look at this one. Perfect landing, absolutely. <laughs> the smile on his face. Let's hope he didn't leave that in practice. What do they say at skating? Hold the landing. <laughs> <laughs> but really, terrific to see how easy it is to rotate and you have to watch carefully for the fourth revolution. It's easy to mistake it for a triple. Yeah, and Stephen Cousins will skate to the theme, Gone with the Wind. He did that at the Olympics and really received a great response from that. So all of these men getting ready with the big finale, what will happen with Alexei Armanov? Will he deliver a good performance? That remains to be seen. So we're looking at Yongfei Li right now from China, and he is ninth after the short program. Came over to compete late, and the whole Chinese team actually has been complaining about jet lag. They say they get sleepy in the middle of the afternoon, so hopefully he's feeling awake and ready to go. Yongfei Li from China. He also had cramping in his calf muscle of his left leg in practice before the short program. And he says it is still hurting him. His left knee is also bothering him. Four and a half minutes is a long time to get through. Survive some of that pain. And he's opening with a triple axle, triple toe loop. Just a double. does have the quad toe loop planned. Coming up next. Can the knee and the calf sustain this kind of pressure? Actually, he changed it to a triple axle, triple toe loop combination. We didn't see that this morning in practice. That takes a good, quick mind. And a gamble, too because when you change your program around like that, it can throw you off your game. He landed his first quad in 1995. He says it's inconsistent, so that may be the reason why we just saw that change up.
Fred Eagle into a nice triple sow cow. His goal here is a top six finish. What he really wants is the international exposure. Harbin, China, he trains in the same city as Shen Shui and Zhao Hongbo, who we saw earlier in the pairs event. And he's had the same coach since he was five years old. Says he's like a father to him. in the long program there is four and a half minutes to fill with artistic content and that's what he says is his weakness sometimes developing that in between choreography between jumps is as difficult as performing the jumps And I don't think the jet lag is a problem at this point either. Peter, as you know, to be a successful skater, you don't just come out here and compete against the other skaters. You learn from them. This is his chance right here tonight. So Lee Young Fei, I must correct myself. I called him Young Fei Lee. He is Lee Young Fei from Harbin, China. Fights the jet lag and gains some more inter international experience. There's his coach that he has been with since five years old. So there's Timmy Gable. But when we come back, we'll have Lee Young Fei's mark. Stay with us. 98 world champion sitting in the stands. Maria Buterskaya below him. He was supposed to be skating in this event, but he is only a spectator. And you may recognize the man on the right side of your screen, Victor Petrenko, with his wife, Nina, and of course, to her right, Maria Buterskaya. So, some pretty high profile spectators in the audience tonight in the sport of figure skating. And here's the triple axle, triple toe that he snuck in in place of the quad. Perfect. He actually missed that in the short program. And Lee Young Fei's marks for technical merit. Well, we know what that means in skating. <laughs> it was a clean program, but he was first to skate. They can't give away the high marks too early. Timothy Gable having to ignore the booze. Can that, that could be distracting, can it? 